It's early. Not so bright, but early. Hello. So, say good morning, Grant. Hey. Oh, man. Say good head. morning, Grant. Oh, I'm supposed to say that. Good morning. And we're off to our last long run for the 28-day period. A 13-miler. Uh, it's going to be a, a nice day for it. It's a little cloudy. It's not as cold as normal. We're off to get it done. Just wrapped up a half marathon 13.1 mile run this morning. It was a little warmer than I expected. I realized that uh, four months ago, I ran my first half marathon in quite a while, a couple of years. And it took me two hours and almost 50 minutes. Today it was 2.30. That I was just so physically spent when I finished that I asked my son not to touch me even though he wanted to hug me and congratulate me. I was just miserable. And here I am, four months later, 13 miles, and if I hadn't been walking uphill, I probably wouldn't even be breathing hard. And four and a half months is a long time, but it's no time in the, in the period of a lifetime. And to hit those kind of results, there had to be more than just me. I mean, there had to be a lot of things working in my favor. I think the whole world is collaborating to help me win. What was weird for me today wasn't the fact that we only went 13 miles. Um, I, I approached it like it was just a, a daily run and that was a big mistake. Um, I, you know, I, I hydrated well yesterday, but this morning I didn't drink a ton of water like I usually do if I'm gonna go 15 or 20. And uh, I just drank like I was going like a five mile run. It's, it's just 13 miler. And um, so the first three or four miles were harder for me than normal because it, I, it settled into the to the reality so um, it, but thinking that it's weird that we only went 13 miles when we should have gone further no that doesn't bother me at all I mean that I, I think that's what we should have done today I feel great about it I feel like it was an easy run and that's kind of what I wanted between now and it, you know, if the 13 miles is an easy run then two easy runs and we're done yeah on our long run we run for bagels we're home with our bagels and just everything about the order was just not very good. Our, our bagels were cold, or at least Grant's and Tammy's and Carson's were, and they've already got cream cheese on them, so it's almost impossible to warm them up unless you nuke them in the microwave, and that just makes them soggy. So I had to scrape all the cream cheese off of them and then put them back in the toaster, and that made my toaster oven a mess. Mine is nuked into oblivion, and I don't mean to beat up on Einstein's, but here's the thing. We've been going to Einstein's now every morning or every Saturday morning for, you know, several months. And nine times out of ten, they're just not great. They're, they're okay. Their food's good. That's why we go there. But their service is just lousy. And somebody's got to tell them. I guess they've got to know that they're going to have to step up their game or they're not going to be in the game much longer. It's just not very good. Can somebody help me understand what the deal is with restaurants and napkins? I mean, they peel them off like they're $100 bills when they're handing them to you. I mean, you only get a couple. Hey, hey, be careful. You don't want to lose those. Don't don't use that all on one mouth now. I forgot you were in there, my little love. I'm going to drink you. The cucumber is essential in Grant's salad. Alas, poor crusty baguette. Grant ate him well. Note to self, don't leave your dirty running clothes in the car for an extended period of time. It's a big mistake. Burrito boy, did you get the food from the from the burrito man? I did. I guess I upset him. He's gone. I played one too many tricks on my son. It's not that hard, babe. It's not that hard. Oh, jeez. Come on already, back out. Hey gang, somebody's gotta go. This, this is pathetic. This is just pathetic. There. Unbelievable. He's back. Okay, I see. No, I was trapped by people who don't know how to drive. <laughs> Nobody could back out. It's like I'm back out challenged. This is, the, this is the only light on the planet that lasts longer for the exit of a store than it does for the road. Of course, it's Walmart. I'm getting a little grumpy. It's past my, my dinner time. Does it show? Quite often, the person turning right will wait for the person turning left, which is not what you're supposed to do. Of course, I didn't get to copy it tonight, so 
it doesn't matter because I won't be able to use this video. Fingers. Nothing works the way I want it to. Okay, it's official. My father is upset and he needs to eat. That's it. All bets are off. He needs to eat. Now you've moved to tortilla chip. Oh my god. Okay, hold Get on. The baguette. If you watched the previous video, baguette you know. Baguette murderer. Baguette murderer. It was so tasty though. Tasty. Tortilla. Tortilla murderer. I mean, well, I mean. You're uh, a tortilla killer. You fried them first. You are so cruel. They're kind of yelling at me. I kind of like those crabs. You the fry. Not for long, though. He died. We are apparently dealing with a whole lot I don't give a crap in our town today. This is the second time that we brought home food that had to be nuked. It's just crazy. Saturday evening, beautiful evening out here tonight. 28 days is now reduced to eight days. It's uh, day 20. And uh, next week at this time, I'll be preparing for tomorrow morning's run, which will be the marathon. And I think that um, I'm ready, but I also think that uh, I, I almost wish I don't. I didn't know what it was like to run a marathon. I've done that before. It's been a long time, 15 years since the last one, but uh, I know what it's going to take, and uh, I'm a little worried about that. I, I'm not worried that I'll finish. I'll finish and all of that, but I just I know it's going to be a lot of work. And uh, today I did a lot of work after running the 13 miles. Uh, we uh, did enjoy some just family time also, and and uh, just took it a little bit easy, but did get a lot of work done. And really, there's nothing more to say than that other than uh, 13 miles today was pretty easy, but uh, the rest of the day just kind of lost it. Eight days left, and uh, looking forward to the marathon next week, and I'm just rambling on.